I love that the Kickstarter. <laughs> my my case still meows, which is amazing, and my kids love it. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> but anyway, let's start this show. Welcome to Geeks with Kids, your bi-weekly geeky podcast from a parenting point of view when we remember to do the parenting portion, which is not often. But anyways, um, <laughs> let's see. Steve actually sent the chat here, so I'm going to actually move that to the side. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just putting our, our that's notes. That's okay. That's good. It's good that one of us has notes up in front of him. I just found mine, which is, you know always good anyway so I don't we're geeks with kids for those that are new to the show we talk about all things sort of geeky and then we give our spin on it and if we remember we try and uh you know educate the parents or the kids oh, god i hope there are no kids watching the show uh, <laughs> about what we're talking about um, <laughs> oh boy <laughs> anyway so joining me this week is shows steve and marcus how's it going guys good Kicking All right. Out. You know, so it'd be good. even better if we had sound on the stream. I sure, I'm sure there's sound. Um, <laughs> sure of it. I'm <laughs> sure of it. Um, but yeah, like we start every show, we ask these fine folk, folks, because there's multiple. What's good? So let's start with mm, uh, shows because we haven't seen you in a while. How's it going? What's good? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's uh, you. What know, do you like? They're going great. What am I liking? What's yummy? Well, you know, I, I, hmm. <laughs> I had a Big Mac tonight. Does that count? Was it yummy? Yeah. It was. It was. <laughs> I think that works. I'm, I'm feeling it now, but it was, more, it was yummy. I'm more of a uh, quarter pounder guy myself. I never really like Big Macs. It's I like weird. both. If I can get a quarter, quarter pounder with Mac sauce on it. Mm. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Like, I mean, what's good? I mean, lots of cool tech. I mean, that's that's, that's uh, it's a great you time. You spent to- so much money in the past two weeks. Oh, Joe's. my goodness. Yes. Uh, I got, got a new phone. Uh, I got the, uh, the 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 12 Pro Max, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, mm. which I'm excited about. I got my PS5, and I got this little guy right here. You guys the, can see that the Game and Watch, Nintendo's yeah. Game and Watch. Mm. Which, oh, oh, which, oh, nice. So Best Buy and Amazon still have these in stock. So for those people watching us right now that are planning on getting it on like Kijiji or like Facebook Marketplace and are seeing it over a hundred dollars. Don't don't waste your money on it because it's yeah. like seventy bucks at Best Buy or Amazon. It's still in the store. It's yeah. still there, so don't waste mm, your money. Okay, ah, I didn't know that yeah. was a thing. I wow, that brings me back. I I still have one of those uh, sitting in my uh, my childhood room somewhere. Really? <laughs> yeah, this uh, is the yeah. uh, the thirty fifth anniversary of Mario um, one that they put out that includes wow. the full version of Mario Brothers and the um, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, yeah, Super Mario Brothers and and the Mario Brothers two in Japan or the Lost Levels, right? The um, Mm-hmm. the harder the harder levels is what you're saying yeah the, oh my goodness it's hard <laughs> i forgot how hard the, let's make let's make these children cry levels um I, it was, I, it was cool I, I had my kids playing with it the other day i just i had them just sit down and say here's some mario go ahead and play it so and how long they before they threw it at a wall because of how hard it was uh they, they, i don't know my daughter was getting pretty good at it <laughs> oh nice oh. nice yeah. Right there. That's parenting. We're doing parenting advice right here. That's fantastic. Yeah. Damn straight. Get your kids I, to play the original Mario. I wish yeah. it had Mario 1, 2, and 3 because you know it would fit yeah. in there. It would fit in that little thing. It fits, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you know, that's for the, the 35th anniversary for Mario 2. And then, yeah. and then Mario 3. <laughs> right? <clears throat> oh my god. Nintendo! You son of a bitch. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Yeah, I want to get one. I think they look. I think they look awesome. How's the alarm clock on it? I know it looks nice. It, it looks cool, but I haven't really played with it as an alarm clock. I'm yeah. I'm more just I, I'm into the novelty, the the collector's yeah. item. Is it, is it of it? Is it USB charge or is it like battery? Yeah, USB C. Nice. nice. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. Now you got another charger for your PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. Chef, well, how's, how's the, like the build quality of it? Is it like a, Does it feel sturdy? Oh, it's it's solid? It, it's solid. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely solid, and it's already been hacked. But someone was playing Doom. The, on it. Yeah, the the USB port is is um it's not connected to the circuit board. It's only connected to the battery, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so you can't. There's no data access through the USB. Right. Um, uh. So people that have hacked it have had to like crack the thing open and have attached like debugging cables to it to um That's to actually awesome. upload code into it. It like but it'd be kind of cool if you turned this into a little emulator and just filled it with like a ton of NES games. I would totally <laughs> be down for that. 
That'd be pretty. That'd be I, so cool. <laughs> I suspect they'll probably do something like that from themselves if they're smart. You know, at some point, you know, maybe after Mario Three comes out, they're not that. They 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 know how to print money. Like these things, all the Mario Thirty Fifth Anniversary stuff is only limited. Like to you can only buy it until March. So yeah. if Game mm. Watch is gone, the games which make no sense. Like, why would they stop oh, selling the disc? The three D All Stars, right? Yeah, yeah. On disc and on the E Store, they won't sell it after March thirty first, which makes no sense. This um, is, or, sounds like something Disney did like a long time ago too. You know, it's uh... that does sound like a Disney way thing. Speaking of Disney, we can talk about some of their uh, controversies this past week. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's move off of you and move on to Steve. Wait, wait. Was there anything else that was good? We're no, talking no, about the lot, PlayStation, that's, so there's lots of good things. I can't wait to talk it. about the PlayStation. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Steve, what are you? Yeah, what's no. Good for you? Uh, no, nothing, nothing new. Sorry, sorry. I'm just waiting to talk about the PlayStation. It's just me listening to my audiobooks as usual, enjoying them still. I got, I got, I got to make that list. I got to get a checklist down because it's uh, it's getting a little bit hard to track. And um, yeah, I'll figure out a way I can share my my journey through the 56 novels. Nice. Um, yeah, but, do it on uh, the do it on the yeah. website, man. Uh, even if it's yeah. just audio, or even if you want to talk me through it, because that would be awesome. I just like learning about the universe. Sure, sure. Yeah, I guess the only thing I can say is uh, I I've only encountered two books so far in about twenty that I thought were yeah okay. All the other ones like were nice surprises or like were really really good. Uh, but then it turned out the last one I just finished was kind of like a part two to one of the mediocre ones, and oh man, it was. The last, the last sentence, like just, oh, oh so good. And like <laughs> it, it completely elevated the first book because you really needed the first book as setup. So I, I, I thought the first book was okay, but it was a lot of backstory and, and, and it just, it just like front loaded, you know, this, this, uh, this uh, next story. So anyway, so yeah, so, so it's uh, still, I'm still going. I, I never really intended to listen to all of them, honestly. I was just kind of like, yeah, my God, this 50 some odd, you know, <clears throat> 30 hour audiobooks here, you know, but ah, I'll just go through and see what good ones people recommend. And yeah, now I'm going to just try to get through it in order and see how far I go before I get sick of it. But how many so have far, you done so, so far? Uh, I haven't, I don't have an exact count because initially I was kind of jumping around, um, you know, cause I wasn't really intending to go through. So I think roughly half, um, oh. probably a little bit under half. Yeah. That's crazy. But, uh, but yeah, I, I want to actually do it systematically now and I want to figure out which uh, authors, and which narrators I prefer. I'm just I'm just trying to suss that out because there's there's a ton of guys who do it. So anyway, so that's uh that's kind of it for me. Very I'm just nice. waiting to Very talk nice. about today's topic. Plus, you're also streaming on Twitch, which is good. Uh, I've seen a couple of your streams. You're streaming at twitch.tv slash Indoscream. So if you check yes. Steve out, um, it's actually I, I very much enjoy your commentary throughout the thing. Oh, well, thank you. That was my first proper stream today. That's uh, Indoscream with a K, I N D O S K. R E A M because I I came up with that when I was uh, 13 years old and I thought it was yeah. really cool at the time so <laughs> much better than change it. than having mine which was my university nickname which everyone still calls me which I'm fine with but I yeah, can't but... I can't I can't share I couldn't share that with my nephew so I changed my name on, uh, <laughs> on PlayStation just because I was like <laughs> hey you can be friends with me now yeah, yeah finally. thank goodness PlayStation <laughs> finally gave you that option because for the whole time I first got to know you you were like always like grumbling about that i wasn't grumbling but other people would be like why because it was a lot of people that didn't know me so as yeah. i'm playing destiny with yeah. other people i'm just like well i'm not a creeper <laughs> thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> made for good conversation definitely. it was pretty funny um all right uh marcus what are you liking right now uh i mean a couple things i mean obviously there's the playstation so we're, we're gonna get onto that and enjoy that um, Steve, I joined your, uh, I watched your Twitch a little bit today while I was, <gasps> I was at work, supposed to be working. <laughs> oh no. Um, so I was sitting there on my phone. Um, but, uh, yeah, you, like I just, cause the thing is I've been watching Twitch things for a long time. I've never commented on anything, so I've never had to make an account. So today was the first time I had to make an account. So Wait, I could which actually, one were like, you? I was burner, uh, Selzog. Ah, oh, you were asking about the frame rate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I was the one much. answering about the frame rate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. And it's funny because like, as I was doing it, like, you know, it's like, oh, you have to make a username and everything. And I'm just like, shit. And I had just listened to a podcast thing where they had talked about Werner Herzog and I fucking love him and just like, yeah. listening to him and his, his crazy German voice. And I was just like, I want that name. Of course, it's, you can't use that. Uh, so I was just like, 
I don't know, it just came out of nowhere and I was just like, sure, that'll, that'll do, I'll change it later. <laughs> that's a that's a better story so, yeah, and I think a better nice. name than uh, than what happened with Eric initially. So yeah. I think you made a good What choice. My my initial story <laughs> is wonderful <laughs> and very graphic, uh, yeah. but we will not get into it on this show because I want to keep the affiliate status that I have on that's Twitch. Right. <laughs> yes, yes. So we'll, follow we'll all these wonderful people on uh, Twitch. Yes. <laughs> Um, but what I ended up, uh, I also been like, I've been loving, I'm sure you got, like anybody else who has been watching the Mandalorian has been so awesome. Sure. And I, I've just, Oh, do you know what I'm this so Friday's excited. episode is called? Yes, I do. <laughs> the Jedi. <laughs> the Jedi. So cool. Wow. Look at you guys. Oh. Steve, you have no idea how good it is. It's so it's, good. This is this. I didn't think that this season could so quickly almost overshadow the first season but it kind of has like i have been more amped about this season than most of the first season the first season was yeah. great mm-hmm. loved yeah. it yep but this season oh no oh wow it was so good he froze <laughs> it was so good we lost marcus so hyped yeah. about so many things oh, he's they perfectly acclaimed um yeah yeah um, did, did i disappear you disappeared but it was yeah. perfect because you were just like it's so good yeah, pretty much, pretty much. I, I named off so many spoilers, you guys. So many. Spoilers. The, the the crazy thing is that people were not as hyped about the first couple episodes, and I'm like, I can see why if you're comparing it to the first season. But like the first episode had like aspect ratio changes just to show, um, like how big the crate the, dragon is, and I was scale, just like, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. You don't see that on TV shows. Um, mm-hmm. then the second episode had the 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 alien esque thing. Um, where, yeah. where you're like, okay, I guess we're going to be doing um, Alien in space in Star Wars. Yes. Um, and then, like, what was the third episode about? Um, third episode was when they, uh, his, the, where the, he meets the Mandalorians. Oh, oh my God. Bo-Katan. When he met, met the Mandalorians. Oh, my God. Yeah. And Bo Katan shows up. That was incredible. That was yeah, such an incredible episode. It broke also, the internet. <laughs> yeah. Just, just to have her come in and actually play, uh, uh, what's her name? Bo Katan. Bo Katan. Um, like she's in person, perfect. she she looks perfect. She sounds yeah. and she is. She is perfect. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. So Look, good. I mean, you know, obviously, I'm the one who's who's the odd man out because I've just kind of I've kind of drifted. But even I caught wind of that, and I and I, you know, I'll just I'll just speak on this. You know, I, I think that's a wonderful thing. You know, like <laughs> you know, all, all, all my all my bitterness aside, I mean, it's very simple. All you needed to do was you know not 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 fuck shit up and just. You know, and to draw on on the wonderful universe, mm. and it's I think it's great that she got to she got to to play that character for so long, and then to be asked to like do it for real, like that's just such a yeah. beautiful thing. Uh, that yeah, no, I mean I I, I oh hope... did she do the voice? Yeah, yeah, yes. I didn't was know that. Wow. Yes, yeah, that okay. was her. I mean, she intimately was that character for all that time, and then. Uh, yeah, I watched an interview. Um, I think she did with like um, entertainment. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it, it actually got brought a tear to my eye, you know, because she was so emotional about it. Because just like, yeah, you know, and the whole process of getting the look down, you know, because the character is like coming out eyebrows and, you know, and everything like that. So, yeah, I, I think that's, that is just, it's the ultimate love letter, mm-hmm. you know. Um, yeah. And I think that's the best thing about this series, even though I haven't watched it, I'm not pooing on it. I'm just saying, I know <laughs> this is a guy who cares. And, uh, and I love that he loves Star Wars. And I love that he's been just actually just continually so, you know steve yes this. the last episode i think you'll very much appreciate because at the end of it, at the end of it we finally get to see um gideon who's the the big right. bad of the last season right um, right yeah and yeah. not only is he wearing black armor where that's very reminiscent of darth vader but he's right. in a room full of deactivated dark troopers oh nice which nice. M- just like people who play Darth um yeah, dark forces yeah. and stuff you're just yeah. sitting there like fuck it's finally happening you're seeing this. Yeah. You're yeah. seeing there's connections to the sequel trilogy. As much as I hate the sequel trilogy, they're starting to draw things in there, which, you know, it's not bad, but, um, yeah. you know, at least they're trying to make Whatever. it make sense. Right. Whatever. Yeah. As far as far as I'm concerned, this is the continuation of the good movies. And as little yeah. as that's all I care about, that's the only reason. Don't even tell me about sequel trilogy stuff, man, because then I'm not going to watch a show. <laughs> it, I know. Well, no, there's yeah, it's no. Got, okay, no, 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 I agree. I agree. <laughs> um, no, no. The more I know it connects to 
yeah. the actual movies, then that's fine. You know, yeah. I, I'll watch that. So that's cool. That's cool. Oh, Dark Troopers, my Dark God. Troopers. Yeah, and know, it also it, it it it's fixing things that were problematic from those sequel trilogies. Yeah, like it's it's they're also like kind of being like, okay, that was fucked up. Let's let's kind of give a better explanation. Yeah, I wouldn't like, just ignore there's, it. There's, you know, like who cares? Yeah. Who cares about that shit? No one's gonna. Well, I think I think John movies, Favreau and fucking and, characters and Dave Filoni are like, uh, I don't want to this to be a hindrance on our stuff <laughs> yeah okay fair enough fair enough yeah you can't totally ignore it i guess but yeah. um damn oh uh, well marcus you stole my what's good because the fucking mandalorian so good um so good uh they're so selling good. dark sabers at toys r us but they're plastic yeah. and they look shitty which um, upset. I'm uh, wait, just wait there's there's something coming down the pipeline i yeah. guarantee you yeah because yeah. i've already seen a couple a couple people i follow on uh, the pre- replica prop form have been making their own dark sabers <laughs> well Ooh, and yeah, this big. this one guy has made an amazing like one that if you put it up to any camera it actually does the flaring, like the lens flaring kind of yeah. thing. It only works on camera because of the light source, the way he's used yeah, it. Yeah, the weird effect, sure. Oh my God, there, it looks perfect. There is a company yeah. that has, because um, there are so many um, ultra sabers and companies like that that make lightsabers. There are now companies that are making dark sabers and the blades yeah. for them I, look I, amazing. I will get a nice one. one. When it's available, I will put the money down and I will get myself yeah. a nice I saw saber. your lightsaber at Toys R Us the other day and I was like, ah. and then I was like, yes. I can't buy that. But you know what they did have at EB Games? The Mandal, not the Mandalorian, but, but the Boba Fett um, prototype helmet, which is the white. Yeah, one. they have that at to- Toys R Us too right now. For $140. Um, it's actually, yeah, but it's- at EB Games, it's $100. And if you have Platinum, it's $80. Wait, what? Yeah. Really? So I bought it for oh. 80 bucks. Dude, dude, if you can go back and buy me one, I'll I'll get you the money for it. I will if I find another I... one cuz I got the last one okay. at mine, but I'll uh, check the other one. Okay. Uh, okay, let me know cuz like I uh, I I want yeah. the one. Yeah. I would actually go for that too. I'll uh, let you guys it'd know. actually be a gift for somebody, but yeah, that would be I don't uh. need another one, Steve. It's fine. Um, <laughs> 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 although Getting a second one would be awesome to do one. You know how they do those art prints where they, they do artistic drawings on it? I would love to do that. I'm actually um, – what's good right now is it's my eldest daughter. It's her sixth birthday today. So we were yeah. painting We were oh, painting yeah. um, pottery, and I have an R2-D2 bowl, but I'm not going to just do the gray and blue because that would be boring as shit. So I started doing – like I started sketching out like – a different like multicolor R two D two thing. So hopefully it'll look good. Um, I think I have the colors in my head, but it's sort of weird because you have you have to do three coats of paint on pottery so that it's kilned properly, so that you can eat right. off it and stuff. Um, what right. else is good? Um, PS five is good, but we're gonna talk about that in about ten minutes. And then uh, I guess podcasting stuff is fun. You know, always on streaming. Um, all of these. We're going to be streaming all the time. Geeks with Kids streams like two or three times a week. So check us out. We have D&D and we have this podcast and we have some other stuff. We're going to be doing at the end of the year, this is so that you guys know, that we're going to do the best games of the PS4 generation um, as, Ooh, our, as our okay, closeout okay. Um, episode of this, uh, like our Christmas, like December area time. Just so that we can, you know, take mm. <laughs> do a big long recording session and just, just like release it over the course of December. So, we so don't I can't. Care. I can't talk about Animal Crossing in that episode. No, but <laughs> oh, uh, we'll no. talk. We'll talk about um, <laughs> Nintendo another time. Don't worry, chefs. So let's right. go into the news, and we're going to do a short one because we're going to be talking about the PlayStation Five, and I feel like that's going to be a long time. So there's only three things on the news docket today, and I'm going to start with the shortest one today. Um, the BBC UK BBC. I'm not going to UK. The BBC has announced that John Barrowman will return as Captain Jack Harkness in the 2020 Doctor Who holiday special Revolution of the Daleks. This is cool right. because he's mm. just it's just going to be him and the companions. There's no doctor in this episode because Oh, of, that'll be fantastic. Oh, Jesus. Wow. I like enough. the doctor. That's a whole other thing where I like her. Dude, I dude. like her. I the like se- her. I don't have an issue with her. This is just like the sequels. I'm not going to talk about it because it I did not me like the so last much season. Fucking rage. Me, me and Steve Holy happened. shit, man. No, if you guys, anybody who actually follows up with Doctor Who as long as I have, there, there's no fandoms left. 40K is the last fandom, guys. Every other fandom, fuck, fuck. Well, okay, but John Favreau's fixing one. So, uh, <laughs> um, so <laughs> sure, having sure. um having John Barrowman come back to Doctor Who is also 
quite nice. I like him as a yeah, yeah, as that'd an be actor. Great. Yeah, yeah. I think his, that'd be cool. his, his Captain Jack, Jack Hartness is going to be amazing because it's him. <laughs> yes. That's yeah, all yeah, I can say. Yeah. Enough said. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, that'll be fun. That'll be fun yeah. Number two. And this is a PlayStation related news event. HBO has given the green light to the Last of Us TV series adaptation. Um, the mm. TV series will center on Joel and Ellie in the outbreak and it will be run by Chernobyl showrunner Craig Mazin, Game of Thrones producer Carolyn Strauss and the game's writer and creative director Neil Druckmann. Um so the series has been in development for a while and it's going to start filming next year. Okay. Well, I I, I don't I'm, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Of, yeah. The, just cuz I I think to think to myself like I the game is a different experience than watching the yeah. watching it as the story. Also, like if the performances aren't what you envisioned yeah, or what you felt during a gameplay, it's 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 gonna ruin it for you. You know what I mean? Like especially because yeah. it's so close, so very what close. What I hope, what I would hope is maybe instead of telling the story exactly the if, same if way, if the game out years ago. Awesome. Sorry, sorry, you you kind of hiccup there. <laughs> Can you say again. that again, Marcus? It ain't a hiccup. <laughs> Oh God! Did I disappear again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say what you said last again. Yeah. Um, just, just like if, if, um, if either this show was made way a little bit further down the line, or if this game was older and this they were making it now, I think it would fit better. But because the like Last of Us Two was recent, and then you're going to give us a TV series, if the two don't line up right, or if you don't like the performances, it's mm-hmm. going to be. Yeah. Uh, like, Especially since I just it, feel like it'll. Yeah. I feel like it'll be under a lot of harsh criticism. Especially if yeah. it recaps the first game, right? Like the first season recaps the first yeah. game. You have that Troy Baker expectation and the Ashley Johnson because they had yeah. such good performances. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you're hearing all these different voices. And I can't yeah. I can't hear Joel without hearing Troy Baker. And I can't hear Ellie without hearing Ashley. Right. Yeah, I, I'm not so sure about this. It's kind of if this brings back like that quote where like uh, Ebert, you know, many years ago had actually criticized video games, you know, as not really a legitimate sort of storytelling device. And then people sort of for all these years since have kind of like pointed all these great experiences, right? Because you know technology's improved, and 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 I think that was a little bit of an ignorant thing for him to say even back then. But uh, but I do have to say, yeah, I agree with you, Marcus. Like I think that this is a situation where the the game experience was so powerful. Um, oh and and they didn't really didn't really need a live action element because they were able to create those situations like that you play through firsthand so realistically and so effectively that yeah I, I hope what they do is they'll be smart and instead of just covering old ground maybe they'll try to tell the story from other people's perspectives or just yeah. like approach it in a way where it's something slightly different, a different angle. So they're not, it's not an exact retread. Right. Yeah. yeah I would, I would I rather be in that world. Right. I would even yeah, be cool sure. with hearing Tommy's story. Right. We don't really sure. hear it. Um, so that would be cool, but it, it looks like they're going to be doing Joel and Ellie, which, you know, everyone sort of expects. Um, and oh God, as a parent, Right now, I don't know if I could deal with that beginning story again and then seeing yeah. it in live action. I know, Shaz, yeah. you were playing it uh, just recent, not not too long ago, were you, weren't you the first not, one? Not too long ago, but it's still drilled into my brain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we both have daughters, so we're just like, uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. The first time I saw it, like when I played it in, like, was it 2012 or 2013? I was crying. I was like, mm-hmm. ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. but it it it, do, it doesn't get better on subsequent viewings though. No, it doesn't. Because <laughs> you know what's coming, and you're like, I don't want to go forward la, la, here. La, la, la. <laughs> and it's such a good moment. Like oh, Troy Baker, wonderful actor. I hope at least that they get them to show up somehow, not like an overt cameo, but maybe just like, I don't know. I don't maybe like voice voice memory. Yeah, um, I just don't like that'd be that'd be good. Or even better, if they don't do the first game and do the years in between the first game and the second game, because there's a lot of time that passes there, I'd be yep. fine with that. Like, show a recap at the beginning of the first season. Or make the first episode the first game. <laughs> and Yeah, yeah. Or the first two, I don't know. Something. We'll find out. We'll find out when It'll that It'll be happens. interesting. I mean, video game to TV slash movies, it's... Uh... Still, still rocky, you know. So we'll see. We'll see if they're if they're smart about it. You know, they don't. It's it's tricky, right? You're you're trying to weigh like, you know, that that video game universe versus something that's a little easier to consume, and it's hard. 
you know, I don't know. I think they need to be innovative, frankly. Yeah. All right. The last uh, news item of the day uh, before we go into the PS5 is um, uh, Wonder Woman 1984, the film that has been delayed since uh, God knows way earlier this year. They finally yeah. announced that it's going to be coming out Christmas Day in theaters in the States and also on HBO Max. Uh, the streaming, I think we're getting it yeah. in Canada in theaters only because there's no streaming service that has HBO Max. So they're going to figure out something. What? Uh, but we just shut down all the theaters like yeah. as of yesterday. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. They're, they're, they have, um, they have, um, they have, the, I know Universal made a deal with Cineplex about having like a three week run for movies and then going straight to okay. um, digital platforms. Okay. I can't remember what okay. it was. Um, but yeah, yeah so well, Wonder Woman. Today. Yeah. yeah. Wonder Woman coming out in theaters and in uh, HBO on the same day. I think that's a good idea. I feel like they should do that anyway. Yeah. It, you know, I, I think everyone, you know, it, it's, a, it's a new situation. Nobody knew how this was going to play out. But I, I frankly thought like, any movie studio hanging on to a release date. I know they pay a lot of money to do that, like to, to set that up. And there's a lot of marketing and a lot of, a lot of cash was, you know, put into the scheduling, but it's a new reality, you know, like I, I don't think you can count on uh, theater releases anymore. So, I mean, I think this is the first sign that the movie theater system has, uh, not the movie theater, actually, they're, they're the ones are going to suffer. The movie studio system has accepted the new reality, you know, yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of sad, but, it's a fact like they're not going to make the money back on pure theater releases, even though they said that that's what they intended to do. Uh, they have, they have to do it this way. Uh, what, they, what else can you, you know, like you, if you want exposure for that film, it's the only way you can go. So yeah. that new ghostbusters movie, did that get pushed to next summer? Next summer until Probably. it gets pushed, pushed to another summer. <laughs> yeah. Or they, they give in and then put it online yeah. somewhere. I'm, I'm curious. Uh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, did people not learn but through trolls that, just releasing it online would make you bank because that movie made way more money than the sure than the movie theaters did uh, for the first two movies. Right? Sure, but but it's still it's still a new situation, right? Like nobody knows how bankable uh, trolls because of the timing that actually worked out for it. You know, um, I don't know if that's going to keep happening or not, right? Um, because you know, like a, a, a different studio this time, right? Like I don't know what their infrastructure is like how popular is hbo max you know is it going to actually gain subscriptions i mean who knows i think the real question now is with disney because disney you know was the first to say okay we're going to push back black widow because they fully intended to put that in the theaters as well and yeah. that's going to be interesting because they have the infrastructure but they've been really trying to keep the mcu a theater thing and i, I think well if warner brothers gives in disney can't be far behind but we'll see yeah, yeah. be interesting yeah. to see I, I, I just keep yeah. I keep seeing that like the you know saying it will not be coming to streaming. It, yeah. Black Widow will not come streaming. It will not be coming streaming until one day. I'm pretty sure I'm going to see a post like, yeah. all right, they gave Black Widows coming to stream. Like I just feel like even if theaters you know come back, it I don't think it'll be the same. Yeah, same sort of thing. Yeah, that's going to be interesting too. Like the what the markets will be like because I know I don't have much of. I mean, I I've watched so many freaking movies, right? Like. I even I'm not super keen to rush back to the theaters when they open up, you know, yeah. and I know maybe mm. in the States, it'll be different. Maybe certain States, they won't, they won't give a crap, but yeah. I, it's still going to be, it's still going to be a weaker draw. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, that's what they were saying for Wonder Woman too, though. This whole time they've been saying, no, no, we're going to release it in theaters. We're yeah. going to release it in theaters. So well, we'll see what happens. They released Tenet in theaters and it didn't make money. So, yeah. And that movie yeah. was bound to make a shit ton of money. They should have just released on POV as well. And that would have been, like I would have watched yeah. it. I would have rented it for sure. I st I still want to see that movie. Me too. Yeah. You yeah. think that it would be on Blu-ray by now? It, like it left theaters oh, three yeah, months ago. True. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, I didn't actually know it was being released in theaters. I knew so little about Tenant. Like I I saw the first teaser of it, and then like I read a little bit about it, and then I never heard anything else because I don't have cable. I don't listen to yeah. like you know that those kind of sources. So if it's not everywhere, I just don't know about it. And all of a sudden, they're like, oh, yeah, it was in theaters and it did terribly. I'm like, when the fuck did it come to theaters? Like, I didn't know it even did that. Yeah. It was it was one of the only things that came out other than New Mutants, which, you know, Disney pretty much put that out in the theaters to die. I mean, yeah. Yeah. No, but that was smart, though, right? I mean, they owned it. Obviously, now that some of us have seen it, Disney has no intention of it going anywhere. So yeah. they it, it was it was something that they got as part of a package deal. So they're like, well, yeah, I just throw it to theaters and see what happens, you know, because we have no data. We don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they, they they didn't care about the movie, so it was a throwaway film. But yeah, Tenant was the actual film that was running against it, <laughs> and uh, even it couldn't survive. So yeah, yeah, and that we had restrictions in movie theaters. No one wanted to go, so no one no. went. Um, no. yeah. New, New Mutants was. Eh, eh, eh. I still need to see it. It's it's not as bad as I expected, but it's not good. So yeah. there you go. That's my review. Let's move on to something way more fun, and it's the main topic of the day, and that is the PS5. I'm pretty sure we all got it on launch day. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm pretty. Did we, did you, we all get our deliveries on the same day? No, I got mine the day after. I got on Friday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fair. I, yeah, I went to a midnight launch and, and yeah, you waited in line, in line. And, and didn't get mugged in the parking lot. I was like, Steve, yeah, don't get that mugged. That was sketch. <laughs> that was sketch, man. I have to say, as as a as a forty something year old. Uh, lining up to get the machine in the first place for the pre-order felt really awkward because it's a bunch of 20 somethings talking about their kill death ratios. You know why I'm standing there in the cold. They didn't bring a jacket that sucked. <laughs> and, <Steve>. uh, <laughs> and I got there early enough. I've never really done this before. I've never gone for day one stuff, you know? And uh, I got caught up in the hype because you guys were going on about it. I'm like, Oh shit, maybe I should go too. So I, yeah, I got yeah. all up and it, and I'm glad I did, you know, I'm, I'm not complaining. Um, and then, yeah, to pick it up, man, 12 45 a.m you know in the <laughs> middle of a parking lot and there was a car man okay it was fairly busy so i felt okay right there was there was a fair number of people actually waiting around but there was like this one car it was like parked like three rows over so it's just far enough away with headlights on us i'm sitting here going ah that's a little sketchy i don't know what that guy's doing you're just you like know? this like, guy's <laughs> gonna drive into us and steal all yeah, yeah. he's just gonna roll somebody you know just as they're coming out with their giant box anyway go on go on let's let's, let's talk about <laughs> what about you chefs how's your um your pickup experience oh I, I got i got the delivery oh I, yeah. I got mine from best buy so it was delivered uh nice. launch day so you carried yeah, it nice. home like a like a newborn baby from your front yeah. porch <laughs> well, but you know what at the same time though it was it was in like it, it was in a larger sort of brown nondescript yeah. box oh good which which i was happy to be moving it around in because sure. i didn't want anybody to see like i mean it, it, when they, the device is so rare yeah and people are paying yeah. tons of money to get them you don't want to be like hey look what i have <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah for sure yeah. yeah so mine i i went to shoppers in the morning because i pre-ordered mine at shoppers like you know any self-respecting gamer would do <laughs> you went in you got, you, you got some foundation <laughs> I got, I got some foundation, I got toothpaste, some <laughs> hair gel. Points, man. Yeah. No, it's totally, I got the points, no, that's for damn totally sure. Legitimate. Both on my Visa and in uh, Optimum. Optimum, so, nice. Uh, yeah. The, um, so what I ended up doing is I went there in the morning, and and, there, and I waited there because there were people picking theirs up. And then the guy took my name and got my confirmation email, goes to the back. I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, blah, blah, blah. I'm sitting there, I'm like, should I get some gummies? You know, like any person in shoppers. I was like, what kind of candy should I should I do for this unboxing? And the guy comes back, he's like, oh, yeah, now I know why your name is so special. I was like, why? He's like, oh, it didn't get delivered to our store. I was like, what the fuck are you talking oh, about? Yeah. So they're like, just give us your phone number. We'll call you when we figure out what's happening. I was like, uh, okay. So they ended up calling me in the afternoon. They're like, oh, they, they, they just shipped it to the wrong place. And it's at our store now. So I came there and like shows, it came in this big brown box and I got a bunch of things. I got the headset and I got a game and they were giving it to me individually. And I was like, can I, can I just have the box? <laughs> yeah. Cause I don't want to carry all this separately. <laughs> like, yeah, nah. sure, sure. And the guy, yeah. And I had a nice conversation with the guy who was um, checking all this, these items out. I was going to say checking me out, but I know he was yeah. doing that. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's a heavy fucking box to carry yeah. around, man. Oh yeah. Awkward. Yeah. Um, how was it unboxing it? Because for me, when I opened up the box and then there were like multiple boxes inside, I was like, oh shit, I ripped this box. And then like my my outer box started falling apart as I was unboxing. I was like, good thing I didn't do a video for this. Um, how- <laughs> okay. I, I actually lost a little bit of handling on the thing while I was taking it out of the box. Oh no. Now, now luckily, I was unboxing it over my bed. So I had I had pulled off the pieces of styrofoam that were holding it in in place, mm-hmm. and right. and as soon as I did, the thing just I guess I didn't realize how heavy it was, and the thing just completely just left my hands oh. and it just <laughs> fell to the bed. All right, it, All and right. it bounced it bounced safely onto the mattress, so it was fine. Okay. And so you have tips. the digital version too, so yeah. it's lighter yeah. than the ones we had. <laughs> yeah, pro pro tips for anyone listening. Yeah, no, the thing is a beast, and it's a very awkward shape. Like that's the other part yeah. of it too. Like it is a weird curving architectural thing so just 
Yeah, just yeah, do what Shouse did. Open it on a bed. Oh, vertical <laughs> or horizontal for you guys? How are you displaying it? Um, I'm vertical. 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 I'm, loving it. I'm yeah. horizontal. Yeah. 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 It's taking so much space up. That's fair. <laughs> I I I was I unboxed it with my wife, and she's like, "How is this console so fucking big?" I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> It's giant. It was like half yeah. the size of my six year old. It, it yeah. at least yeah, it felt like that's, that. That's uh, true. When I that's when true. I choose, it's like, is that mine? I was, I was like, no, it's not. It's mine. I was having those fl- like the flashback of like the PlayStation Three and thinking like this yep. thing is massive. It's huge. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then like now this thing, I'm like, oh, it's bigger. <laughs> it's, you, it's you know what? Like gone are the days when you could just hide a console in like an entertainment center. Like yeah. so- Sony wants you to to every time you look at your TV, they want you to know that you are a PlayStation player <laughs> because and, it's in front that, of your TV, taking a quarter of your screen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's, yeah, it's sitting next to your TV, it's got like a beverage on top of it or something. Yeah. But but yeah, like they they don't they don't want it to be hidden in an entertainment center. They want it to be front and center, and you are a PlayStation player. Like I guess it's the same with the. Um, with with the Microsoft the series Series X right like it's yeah, it's a big cube too. but at least it is sort of a shape that you can sort of fit it in mm-hmm. uh, with other yeah. things you could hide it like it was like a, a subwoofer or something oh, this is yeah. like a giant <laughs> monolith sitting in like front if of you have friends over they're gonna be like oh that's a PS five like there's, yeah. there's yeah. gonna be no question mm-hmm. that's true that's true um I actually when I unboxed it and I put it near my TV because originally I had it at my computer desk just because I have a four K uh-huh. monitor and I was playing on the four K monitor which is so 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 nice. Um, nice. Um, so I moved it to the TV, and I'm like, "Where the fuck am I gonna put this?" And part of me is like, <laughs> "I'm gonna have to build an entertainment unit for this because I have all the woodworking tools in my garage." I'm like, Ooh, and "I have wood that needs to be a video." So I'm sitting there, I was like, "Do I just yeah, build yeah. one for this?" And I might. So that that's yeah, yeah. It's, that's good yeah. Yeah. PS5. That's um, nice, nice. Yeah, I, also, I have to think. Sorry, I was, I was I'm also fixing my speakers. So the foam because they're 30 years old, the foam is starting oh. to go away from the from the woofers and stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna fix those and then make that entertainment unit and build it. That's gonna right be a nice project. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be sweet. I was gonna say like it's funny, you know what Marcus was saying about the, the the first PS3. I mean, I still have you know one of those sitting around somewhere Did you guys all get yeah, the fats i have your so heavy fat man yeah i know yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> i gotta give it back to you <laughs> but it's yeah it's so heavy right and uh and then this thing is even more monstrous and like i i have a i guess the last version of the ps3 sitting here and it's so tiny right like it's oh, yeah it's like literally gross. half the width of the current ps5 right yeah. Um, and and I just have to think like man like in three years when they come up with the new PS5 it's oh, gonna be the, like the wait PS5 wait is it the, <laughs> is it the slim with the sliding thing at the top yeah yeah oh man I've never seen one of those in real life I only saw oh, those uh, in Big <laughs> oh yeah 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 no I eventually got one but uh, yeah no I actually have it sitting on top of my PlayStation Pro uh, mm. PS4 Pro and it's about the same height as the PS5 with the two of them stacked oh together. Oh my god. It's I actually but they did the same thing yeah. with the PS2, didn't they? They made this this little one. That's yeah. just yeah. 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 And the, the size Wii. of a disc basically. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, and even the, the PS4 Wii. had the had the slim version. Yeah, yeah. Um Yes, that's true. I actually ended up on on like unplugging my PS4 cuz I'm going to put it upstairs. Um and if I'm lazy, I'm just going to remote play because now you can remote play to your PS5 from your PS4 and vice versa. Which is amazing, and I have to try it. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Actually, yeah. they always have that feature, but I never really bothered with it. So I'm really, yeah. Let me know when you do it because I'm curious, like how we'll see how late like any lag or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, all, all my like, stuff. Oh, would be the PS5's right? all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get up. <laughs> uh, so um, you you unbox the console, and then you unbox the the controller, and you plug it all in. Um, what was your impression? When you turned on the machine, so, so when I when I did it, um, everything looked you know it, it was exactly what I expected. I, I was just like, okay, this feels like the next step, and it's all fine. I was prepared for all of it, except when I like the, as soon as I got that control, I remember holding the controller, being like, this has got a nice feel to me. Mm-hmm. And the first thing I did was play Astro's Playroom. It was right. the first thing that kind of just popped. I was like, it's there, it's loaded, I'm ready to go. So. I tried it out in that controller demo. The second I felt the triggers, like yeah. do that little oh launching, like I yeah. couldn't, I couldn't, believe, I, I was losing my shit. 
my wife was sitting there watching me and I was like, oh, oh. And she's like, what? I'm like they totally undersold this controller. Yeah. Like yeah. that that to me was the coolest thing. And I was like, this is the best. I, I sat on the controller demo for longer than I should have. No, yeah. no, play the full no, four hours game. of it, man. It's a good game. Yeah. It's a good game. Um, I love yeah. it. I remember <laughs> telling you guys, I'm like, make sure you play yeah. Astro when you get the get it. Yep. Just, just play mm-hmm. it because apparently it's amazing. Did everyone play Astro as their first game? Yes. Yes. I took that my, advice. My too. kids love it too. Yeah, they mine yeah. both played through it. Yeah, and yeah, it's a good my, game. Like my, it, it, you know, yeah. like I know it's a demo thing, but it's actually a fun game. You yeah. know, so for sure, it really is. And I, if there's a platinum, I might, might actually try and platinum it. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I love getting the collectibles and seeing all the old artifacts because I mm-hmm. love it. It's not yeah. like a little shitty art um, replication of them. They're like actually really good detailed models of. And all the you can interact with all of them. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. if you, did you try? Like, if you hit them or punch them or touch them, yeah. Like they open, they move. The like the disc does something. Like it all does shit, and I'm like, this is so cool. There's, and I love the fact that the entire little demo takes place inside. The walls of the playstation 5 mm-hmm. yeah it's very like cute. you actually see the curvature and like the lights and like you see the symbols all over like the like the the texturing and stuff like that on yeah. the walls I'm like that is good so yeah so, this yeah i was just gonna say no, so go my daughter ended up beating this game before i did um, <laughs> <laughs> which is hilarious um and um she's the one who played the gpu level for the first time and I'm I'm sorry, like that level is just amazing, so pretty. Mm. And then they have a song about yep. the GPU loving you, and I'm just like, this is, this is perfect. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! It's so good. Sorry, um, sorry, uh, Steve, you're saying something. I, I was gonna say like this character Astro, right? Like he's actually been in some other stuff too, right? Like he was in the Playroom and the PS4, right? Which I never yep. really paid yeah, attention to. And the PS3, mm-hmm. wasn't he yeah, also okay. PS3? But frankly, I never really cared it was about on a this camera character. demo. I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He was like this really minor sort of demo character. But with this game, like, I feel like, you know, like they've kind of legitimized the character, right? Like yeah, it's yeah. actually like it's got his own little universe and there's like a whole like, you know, like the songs and stuff, you know, like it's I'm actually kind of <laughs> curious about this character. I hope they actually do more stuff with him now, you know? Well, yeah. they, they've they been trying to get like a kid uh, friendly mascot. Like yeah. they tried to do it with uh, Sackboy for Little Big Planet. But I feel like sure. Astro would be a better yeah. fit. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's simpler too. It's a lot. It's not. It's like it's just easy, fun platforming. Yeah, that, and he's more branded with PlayStation look too, right? So yeah. Well, well, now Sony is able to start making kart racers and uh, tennis simulators and all kinds of stuff with you know. Oh my God! Their own you, version of Mario. I would definitely yeah. get anything. Okay, that let me let me. <laughs> I would definitely consider getting anything with Astro in it now. Like I'm already gonna mm-hmm. get Little Big Planet or not Little Big Planet, uh, Sackboy's Big Adventure, purely right, because yeah. they don't have many kid games on the console right now, and because my daughter loved Astro so much, and she's like, "Is there another thing we can play?" And she's like, "Did oh, I beat wow. it already?" I'm like, "Yeah, you beat it. We'll find another yeah. game for you, I guess." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna end up getting Sackboy just because. Um, yeah, sorry, Steve. No, I wanted to ask, like, so how did your daughter find the controller, right? I mean, this is, I'm curious, like, so, in terms of the size and everything. When we're playing, um, when we're playing Mario Kart already, she moves as is, like, when she's driving. <laughs> so having her do the motion control seems pretty intuitive for her, I guess, because especially since she's used to touch screens and stuff. So, right. um, but, like, it is a little bit big for her hands, just a right. little bit. So sometimes when she's reaching for buttons, she has to actually, like, move her hand to get them um, mm, other than that she's generally fine with it she just has to remember uh, where the buttons are or which button yeah. is which it's funny kind of watching them too like when my when my uh, when my daughter was playing the um there's a level in in the the astros playroom where where you monkeys? have to climb you're, you're you're with the monkeys yeah and you're oh i got a video here. of my daughter doing it too i gotta send it to so you. she's holding it she's like <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the only the only issue my daughter had with that level is like arcing them when they were moving in the air because she couldn't yeah. quite figure it out because she'd go way too much or way too little mm. and i'm like okay mm. let me do this one part for you um but yeah <laughs> god damn like for a controller yeah, demo really. god such yeah. a fun game no, not yeah. really a, not really a kid game yeah it's actually it's actually pretty tricky to play a lot yeah. of the parts of it <laughs> so since we're talking about the controller in general and i know that I think I've had this talk with shows going forward, picking video games like PlayStation has its <laughs> exclusives. Right. And it that's why I bought the PlayStation. But there's a lot of cross platform games. 
And now I have this issue where I'm like, because I, I have a gaming PC, and I'm like, do I get it on PC or do I get it on PlayStation 5 because it has a controller? Like, that's something I never thought would ever happen yeah. in my brain. Um, yeah. And now I'm sitting there like, I had this big issue with Cyberpunk because it's coming out on the 10th. But the PS4 version is coming out on the 10th, and then I want to play it on PC. You don't get the controller. Yeah. Um, because we don't get the PS5 version until like next year, next sometime. year sometime, right? Yeah. Uh, what a what a weird dilemma that I have to go through now. And yeah, it. But that controller is like the big differentiator, right? Yeah. Like like if you had to compare the PS5 with the Series X, like they're both really powerful gaming computers in a in a box, right? And yeah. what 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 okay the games are going to be different in some cases the ones that are exclusive but the real big differentiator is this controller that that sony put together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right because the, the xbox controller is a really nice looking controller but it doesn't do all of those things right yeah that's true yeah i i, I think it'll come down to uh definitely uh is there haptic support and uh, the the degree like i think we're now we're gonna have to actually w start to watch reviews where the people describe how good the haptic you know, experience is right because just having some rumbling, uh, that's not really a big deal. But yeah, with the tension trigger stuff, yeah. well, that's really interesting. That's very interesting. Have you guys played many other games on the console so far? Bug snacks, uh, bug snacks. Three, yeah. yeah, look behind you here. I think Ooh, I've done bug, bug snacks, uh, Miles Morales, and Call of Duty. I have three, and each I've of done... those games have used the controls actually pretty well. Like the happy <clears> controls. I've, I've. I've done Miles Morales, I've done Bug Snacks, and I've done Assassin's Creed. Ooh. Valhalla. How's um, that for and the yeah, Valhalla sure. Valhalla doesn't use the haptic feedback as much as I'd like it to. Like you feel a few things, but I was expecting like I was expecting more of like, you know, you, you, if you swing with your axe, you're gonna feel that chunky yeah, hit yeah. or something like that. There wasn't any of that. It was a lot of like more uh, reactionary kind of feel kind of thing. Better than just rumbling, but also just kind of close to the same sort of thing. Yeah, it, I I wonder if it's because we had like last week when we talked about Assassin's Creed, we talked about how um, Black Flag was that cross generational one, right? Where yeah. They, yeah. they had to lower some things because it was also on the PS3. I wonder if they had to do that because it was a PS4 and PS5, like they couldn't fully that's, that's, integrate it. Yeah. But the twi the Twilight Princess uh, thing, yeah, when, yeah, when that came out. Yeah, but um, I've I've been playing um, Fortnite as well because my son loves Fortnite. So I've been yeah. playing Fortnite on the PS5. Looks gorgeous, like just the best version of that game I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. um, but it also uses the triggers really nicely. Like when you're using different oh, weapons, cool. you do get feedback on those triggers. I was nice. wondering about that. Okay, really cool. I'll have to get that a try. Yeah, because I actually noticed yeah that there was a PS5 version of uh, mm -hmm. Fortnite. So okay. Cool. And yeah. it's all cross-platform. Like my son's playing on his Nintendo Switch, and I'm playing on the PS5. And we're playing together. Nice. Is that nice. really cool? So when you're playing um, versus other people, do you feel like you're disadvantaged by having these haptic things, or do you think like it's better for you as a gamer, like against these other people? Or it, it, no it difference. Doesn't, it doesn't seem to like. I mean, just for the immersion, it feels really cool. Like. For like when you depending on the weapon you're using, you're getting like some rumble or, or some kickback on the on the triggers. It doesn't feel like it's really affecting how I play though. Like I'm mm. I'm you know I'm, I'm I don't think I think I'm too old to be good at that game. Because <laughs> um, because my son is only nine years old and he's just incredible. He's just getting headshots left and right. Um, but he he's but but I mean he's been raised playing on a controller, right? Where I was like <laughs> I, sh I should play this with a mouse and keyboard. Maybe I'd Damn do straight. better. I don't know. <laughs> um. Um, what about you, Steve? What have you tried out? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I, I have to bring this up because I, I can't even remember. I just want to see what I've installed here. Um, <laughs> He's actually playing while we're recording. <laughs> yeah, hey, got got to keep playing, man. Um, I tried out uh, Spider Man Remastered, uh, which isn't a full like yeah. Morales is a lot more haptic stuff going on. There's just a little bit of rumble and stuff in the Spider Man game. Oh, okay, but um. Yeah, so I, honestly, um, it was just uh, Demon Souls, uh, Astro's Playroom, Spider-Man. Amusingly enough, until dawn, I just wanted to. I, I heard that it had really good. Oh, frame did rate. it? Oh, yeah. Frame um, rate, now, the, yeah, the detail is the same as it was before. Okay, but now it's like so smooth, right? So it's it adds an extra layer of uncanny valley, and uh, <laughs> and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So not Cold War, yeah. which inter integrates the system more. Just just an old game. So. 
Yeah, I haven't I haven't played as much as you guys uh, have for different games, unfortunately. But I, we I did watch your Dark Souls. Uh, yes, Demon, Demon Souls. Demon Souls. Yeah. Souls? Yeah. yeah. Demon Souls. Uh, how is the haptic support? Demon that? Souls. There isn't. There doesn't seem to be too much actually. Um, I'm oh. not feeling. Yeah, I'm not feeling like I don't know. We'll see when I actually get some real weapons because obviously I'm just like first level about all this this trash right now. So maybe it'll come into play a little bit more but yeah even like with the the bow and arrow there i'm not really feeling anything oh, unique about it so yeah so we'll see we'll see um yeah so i honestly other than astro's playroom i haven't really experienced that much of the haptic and i'm looking forward to that yeah. in future games yeah miles morales i think has really good um yes haptics especially with the swinging you like you really feel it when you're pushing. oh yeah it. It's crazy. It's pretty awesome. I'm sort of sad that you said that remaster doesn't really have it, but I'll find out no. when I when I they did update it like today and yesterday. So oh okay. Hopefully right, I'll double check that. Maybe something did it. Yeah, um, I I yeah. I'm so silly. I didn't actually play the original Spider Man, so this is going to be my. I'm going to do it all on the PS5. And uh, yeah, so I, I will say thing. like <laughs> graphically, yeah. Oh man, the 60 frames. It's like oh, I I really like the visuals because even with the remastered. They were able to do something with like the ray tracing, I think, to yeah, some yeah, to some degree, yeah. um, and it looks you you can you can see the difference, you know. But the, but the sixty frames, it's just too good. It you was know, already think, yeah. such a gorgeous game, and then yeah. for them to yeah. make it even better, like wow. Yeah, I can't wait to play it again. Um, I I'm yeah. I don't think I can play it again just because I was as I was watching you play, Steve. I was just like I realized how frustrating that game was when I first played it. <laughs> Oh, for Demon's Souls? And I was just, I'm yeah. like, yeah, like, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so scared that I'm going to play it and just be like, not this again! Like, you know, yeah, yeah. We should I all play Bloodborne. My... <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Bloodborne, it, it killed me already. I, I, I tried to replay it not too long ago, like maybe even like a year, half a year ago, and I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I realize I'm, you know, like there are certain things I'm really good at gaming wise, and then there's certain things that, like, once I've I've reached a tipping point, I just get worse and worse because I'm frustrated and I don't mm. think it through. I don't, yeah. And I, I the the Demon Souls kind of series, those kind of things, like, definitely did it to me. <laughs> Blood, no, no, that actually you're saying happened. that now, but Bloodborne Two, when it comes out, you're gonna be like, fuck uh, yeah, I got it. Well, yeah, we're all getting it. <laughs> it's it's because they look so good. The go the games are so unbelievably gorgeous and amazing to look at that you, that's what dr pulls me in. It yeah. makes me want to play it no matter what. Yeah, and it's gonna and happen. Then, then sure. you die six seconds later. And you're like, oh. <laughs> if we can do multiplayer way easier than it was to do the first Bloodborne multiplayer, I would be way. way oh, that was way yeah, that down. was a, a, an experience. That would be. A, I think that would actually be a lot more fun. That would be hilarious because I would laugh at my own demise a lot sure. better with other people sure. laughing as well. Yeah, like, I that's think what, that like. Bad. I'm pretty sure Shouse and Steve, we were the ones playing together. What? what yeah. Was it? Or was uh, no, it no, no, it wasn't it was me. Hawk? No, it was, it Hawk. was Hawk. Yeah, it was Hawk. Yeah, yeah, and and we died all the time, but at least it was funny when we died. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think um for me, uh, Black Ops right now has really unique um haptic support, um because cool. each of the guns feel different, which is sort of weird, um but Neat. cool, um yeah, and and it's there during multiplayer, so <laughs> if you don't if you're not used to your guns. You're gonna be like, <laughs> interesting, interesting all over. Um, so like, in what way? Like the 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 juddering as well as the trigger tension. Yeah, yeah. Each gun has a unique feel, which is crazy, cool. and I never thought a controller could do that. So, yeah, so cool. It, it, so it cool. blows my brain. Um, <laughs> the future is now. Yeah. Any final thoughts on the console itself? Um, have you guys used it as a Blu-ray player, a media player? I know Marcus, you convinced me to buy the media remote, so I do love it. And thank you for. I uh, the to... remote. It was so oh, good no. that he froze. It, it, like, yeah, it he froze. One hundred percent <laughs> worth it. Hundred percent worth it. Yeah, it was so good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right I, I it went. One hundred percent worth it. The... Yeah. yeah. I, yeah, actually, I mean, I guess we could talk about the accessories. I, I got the charger, which actually doesn't really suit me because I also got like silicone because my hands get sweaty. So I bought like silicone sleeves and I love the it doesn't quite fit. Um, it but clicks I, I do when think you it, pop it in, which is nice. Yeah, I like that. It's, feel. Na it's nazzy. I went back to try to get the remote um, and, and they were out. So I'm going to have to wait on that. But yeah. uh, but the headphones, I'm kind of curious what you guys, uh, your experiences with the, I love the headset. I I loved my the headphones. So I I've been using them a lot. 
mm-hmm. um, mainly because um, when I do get a chance to play, it's not often. When I do get a chance to play my PlayStation, it's usually when I've just put my son down for a, like a nap, right? Uh, or like Chris is doing something, like she like I don't want to disturb anybody, so I, I put on the headphones and I said I start playing, and I get so lost and immersed in the sound alone. That I forget what's going on around me. I like I completely zone out to the point where someone even waving in front of my face, I might not notice it. Like I'll just kind of be off. And then what I didn't notice until I really kind of thought about it uh, while playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, actually, is I could hear people talking behind me. Mm. Like mm. the three. I don't. I don't think it's the three D audio that they're pitching yet. Like, I still feel like there's a lot more to this, uh, the 3D audio the sensing that they're planning on doing and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I definitely noticed, like, if, in the game, if I'm running ahead of somebody and somebody lags behind and they're ta- telling me a story or giving me instructions, I noticed the change in the sound in the headphones. And it really felt good because, like, I, I remember just, like, I'd run up ahead of somebody and they'd be like, oh, hold on, I need to tell you, blah, 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 blah. And I could hear it behind my head. I was just like, I wanted to turn around. Yeah. to actually like listen to them and it was just like oh god it's fucking cool yeah so like i really i really enjoyed that and they're super comfortable and very lightweight mm-hmm. and uh, super so far lightweight. like super lightweight i like almost kind of scared like i was worried that like build quality was gonna be shit uh because when i took them out i was like that's it yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but so, so far i mean probably not the best sound quality you're ever gonna get but very good uh, super comfortable and like I, I wore I wear them for five six hours without problems and I have I've only charged them once yep I've only I've used them, them on three sit- sittings of playing and I've mm. only charged it once and they're still not like at the low end of the battery yet mm. Chess, did you so, get the headset I I haven't been able to find any accessories like th- there's controllers everywhere like I've yeah, been into stores yeah. and they got controllers just stacked to the ceiling but if like I wanted to get the charger, um, I, I I wanted to. I, I don't know if I'd really use the media remote, but I wanted to get the charger. The headset looks really cool, but I haven't been able to find them anywhere. Media remote is good if you're lazy, um, like mm. me. Um, Steve, um, what did you, did you use the headset yet? Yeah, yes, yeah. No, I've been using the headset. Yeah, yeah. that uh, that's what I was using for the the stream as well. Oh, okay. So I'm curious I, about the voice quality. The actually, voice that's quality my... is so good. No, okay, it sounded cool. really good. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, we noticed that, like, I, I was playing um, Warzone the other day with a couple of my friends, and they're like, damn, this is, like, the best sounding we've been on Warzone. <laughs> um, but, like, man, I playing nice. Spider-Man with that with that headset is crazy, especially when you're walking on, like, mm. street level, because it sounds like you're in New York, which is... Mm. And the snow. And the snow, the crunching. Like, oh, man. The crunching of the snow. And the so snow. good. The thwips that go in he- ahead of you and behind you, like when it's leaving, oh wow, it's it's crazy. Like they're just little subtle details, but it's really good. You could feel the like it sounds like you can feel the wind, like it sounds like yeah, you can feel yeah, that, that <laughs> makes sense. Um, I love the headsets. I think they're great. Um, so um, if I find it, just I'll buy it for you, and then I'll just just pay me back for it later. Um, yeah, there is there is a shortage of those. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, Eric, Eric had kind of given me advice on that too, and said just that you know just, if you yeah. find them early, just, just yeah. go for it. And I was yeah, I was able you, to. You know, I actually you know. had to buy mine. For, I bought mine online from the shopping channel. <laughs> wow, I forgot okay. about that place. Um. Okay, so did I. So um. did I. But it was the only place that had both the media remote and the headphones, and so yeah. I got it from them. You should check shop. Uh, you should check shoppers. You should check shoppers. Uh, shows. Yeah. They, That's a might, good idea. They only they they it's all online I think for the PS5 stuff, but you should check online for that. Um, are there any? This is gonna be our last thing. Are there any games you're looking forward to playing on the PS5 that I guess is coming out or I guess that has been announced? Uh, oh, the well, I mean, it's still very far off, but the, whenever the next God of War series oh, comes God. out, like yes, sure. I am going to lose my mind. Uh, they will have all of my money. All of it. Yeah, and if yeah, I can it's, get, it's true. If I can get like any sort of collector's special edition, <laughs> I, I'm dropping the cash. I'm dropping the yeah. cash. Yeah, we'll do an I, episode I, on that. I've got a bunch of those too. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I regret because I did not buy the uh, original God of War collector's edition, and I kind of wanted it, and it's like, oh, maybe not. And then I let it go, and then 
finally I was like, no, I'm going to buy it. And by that time they're all gone. Yeah. Right. And yeah, I still regret it a little bit. That's like me and so, Ghost of this Tsushima. time around. Oh, okay. So here, here's, oh. a, here's a question then for you, Marcus. Like I, I've only played a little bit of the new God of War. Um, yep. Boy. Sorry. Like, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Um, Boy. So obviously you, you, you recommend playing through all the way. Um, do you guys know if it Absolutely. does it will it play better on the PS5 the, the PS4 version of There's that game? There's only one way to find ins- out. To I have it, it installed. Right? <laughs> I'll do a stream sometime. We'll see. Uh, I'm not sure if it's one of the ones that it I is. think the reason I it's part it of is? the okay. collection. So no, 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 no. What I mean is uh, that they uh, it's got open uh, uh, frame rate. Um, I, I believe oh, so I did install it for that reason though. Not open frame rate, but 60 FPS. Um, sure. So 60, open yeah. open frame rate is only if you have the discs. So it okay, will be very that's cool. perfect variable 60 um but uh usually 60 flat is um what most of the old stuff so okay. for people who don't have playstations and are interested in it in it playstation plus has actually released like 15 ps4 games for free yeah, for actually, ps5 uh uh this collection owners and it's, it's crazy and if you have a ps4 right now have your friends I'm... log into yours and if you only have a PS4, have your friends log into their PS5 with your account so that you can download all of the PS4 games because you can still download it on PS4. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this obviously is an incentive to try to bring people over. Um, but yeah, they created something called the PS Plus Collection. And it's, yeah. uh, it's to try to get people to sign up for, you know, their gaming service, right? Xbox has got that. Everybody, every gaming platform has something like this. It's on now, sale okay? right now for Black Friday. So check it out. Yeah, but if you have access to the PS Plus, uh, and uh, if you have a PS Plus account, you can get access to all these games and they'll be added to your collection. So it's Crash Bandicoot, Fallout 4, Mortal Kombat 10, God of War, Final Fantasy 15, uh, Monster Hunter, Resident Evil 7, uh, Persona 5. I mean, yeah, man, all these games, they're so good. Uh, Battlefield 1, The Last Guardian. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 um, and the zombie stuff. Uh, Days Gone. Detroit um, Becomes Human. Uncharted A Thief's End. Uh, so the fourth one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's really good. Good game. Batman Arkham Knight. Infamous Second Son. Loved it. Until Dawn. Bloodborne. <laughs> the Last of Us Remastered. And Ratchet and Clank. I mean... You, you can't oh, get better yeah. value than that. I mean, that is those are like yeah. speaking of some of the best games of the generation, right? So, yeah. like, pretty much those are like Uncharted 4, Last of Us Remastered. Like, for those two you, alone, you should get that uh collection, yeah. man. Like, just incredible. I, I'm going to download them. Um, I installed my I have a hard drive attached to the PlayStation 5, and it installs all my PS4 games on straight to the PS to the hard drive. So, okay. you know, it, uh, actually there's no noticeable leg and it still loads okay. stupid fast. Um, okay. So yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't done the external yet. So I was kind of wondering, okay, that's yeah. good to know. The good thing is also for the PS five, uh, the USBs don't stay on the whole time. So it'll turn off after three hours. Um, if you want it that way, which is what I have. Sure. And I don't waste sure. electricity. Um, any other games you guys are looking forward <laughs> to? Sorry. I guess it was just Marcus who said that, uh, Steve, uh, shows. I um, I, I'm looking forward to the next installment of the Final Fantasy VII remake, and I'm hoping that's going to have, mm. have some some PS5, uh, uh, PS6. Interesting. Looking forward P- to PS6, it. PS6, PS7. <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy VII. Oh God. Yeah, uh, PS7, Final Fantasy VII edition. Well, they have the 16, whole game. Isn't 16 coming out next year? Supposedly, Final Fantasy VI. Supposedly. I don't know about this stuff. Um, that's the, the, not my area. The one that looks like Devil May Cry, but is sort of witcherish. I I look forward sure. to it. I like the fun. I like the last Final Fantasy, so or at least the remake. Um, we'll see. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn is coming out next year, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, I forget what the list was, but yes, Horizon Zero Dawn was one of them, and yeah, Marcus nailed it. Like whatever Santa Monica Studios puts out for God of War is going to be amazing because every time they put out one for a new system it's pushed like it's been like the perfect use of that system right mm-hmm. like yeah the you know uh ascension and like three remastered like they, they've really like used the systems really well so um yeah I, I hope that they actually expand god of war because there was kind of like a way for it to continue 
And I hope they actually yeah. take advantage of that. Or yeah, if they do a new one, that'll be even better. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, and I actually right now, because Cyberpunk's right on the corner, uh, I'm going to say that's the one I want to just check out. Even I can play it on the, PC, uh, so... Um, yeah. Yeah. You should... You, should you guys got to let me know. Yeah, yeah. I, I will. Um, you know what? I'll do a stream. I got The Witcher on every platform available. I know Cyberpunk's going to be one of those games where I'm just going to be like, well... Time to buy yeah. it on the PS5. You, you, you got The Witcher on this. I think we need The Witcher on yeah. <laughs> One day, one day, it'll show up. It'll just be hacked. Um, before before we go... Wait, Chos, did you want to add any other games? Oh, Marcus? Oh, no, no, I'm just... I, I, I got the same problem that you have. Like, what do you play on what console, yeah. right? Yeah, I just want the highest fidelity for Cyberpunk, so I want PC right now. Um, yeah. Fair enough. But before we go... Um, there's actually some a little bit of news of PS5 versus Xbox One Series X. Um, so Digital Foundry, which is a YouTube channel, does all these like frame rate comparisons and um, graphics comparisons of consoles or like games on consoles. And they actually did a big thing about Xbox Series One versus um, PS5 because on paper the Xbox Series X should be faster and better than the PlayStation Five just by a minuscule thing, but mm. While comparing games such as Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, they found out that the PS5 actually performs better than uh, the Xbox Series X. Range. Yeah, there's a lot more tear tearing in the graphics and, hmm. and stuff. Um, I guess from what they found, um, that be because there's dynamic uh, resolutions for both consoles, the, right. the Xbox Series X just can't switch on the fly as fast hmm. as the PlayStation, which is sort of interesting. Yeah. Um, so there's some cool. stuttering during cutscenes and some other. I wonder gameplay. if they'll be able to patch that out eventually. That's strange. You never know. Yeah. So I mean, I will say. I, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go for it. I was going to say, like, you know, I, I'm not. I've never been interested in console wars. I mean, I, I do think that uh, Microsoft having access to uh, Atmos technology, yes. uh, they they probably have a slight advantage in the sound department. You know, I, I'm just going to give that to them, but. I mean, the systems are actually quite different, you know, in terms of like uh, their approach to games and game distribution at this point. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's 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 nice to know, but I, I never was. And really, this is the start of this, anyway. this this console generation, right? So things aren't going to be as yeah uh, optimized as it will be in like two or year two or three years, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Imagine the like. Yeah. Ima remember when PS4 came out and we're like, oh man, this is amazing, and then you get like. The Last of Us Two, or like oh, yeah. God of War, it's it, like it, holy right. hell! <laughs> it got significantly. Ghost of Tsushima is still one of like the most beautiful games I've ever played, and I can't wait till you play it on PS Five. I can't. Oh man, I can't wait. Ooh, too. Yeah, yeah, I've got that installed too. So we should do the raid sometime if you guys haven't played Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. Definitely one of the best yes. games and the best game to end off the generation of the PS Four. Um. So, any final thoughts before we move on? Good. Good. Yeah. Um. Well. Thank you, shows, uh, uh, Steve and Marcus, for coming on and talking about the PS5. What do you guys, the listeners, the viewers, think about the PS5? Why don't you let us know? All that info is in the post crawl. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for listening. We shall talk to you guys again soon. Goodbye. Watch us on when we stream our video games. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Well, that's it for us this week on Geeks with Kids. If you want to get a hold of us, you can send us an email at podcast at geekswithkids.ca. And don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash geekswithkids. Follow us on Twitter at geekswithkidscn. Check out our pics on Instagram at geekswithkids. And you can find all of this good stuff on our website at www.geekswithkids.ca. So if you like what you hear, why don't you hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. This podcast can be found on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, YouTube, and your favorite podcasting app. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time.